All right, now let's work a problem where we have a fraction in here. And I know that fractions kind of scare us sometimes, so I think this is a perfect problem for us to look at. Um, when we have an equation, and it must be an equation, that has fractions in it, you can get rid of the fractions if you will multiply everything by the least common denominator. So in this case, just looking at the problem we have right here, our common denominator for this problem would be a 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply every single term by that 10. Now I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this out so that you can see um, what's going on and I'm going to go ahead and leave some space um, in between each one of the terms so that I can put the 10 in there. So you'll see what I'm doing here in just a second. I like to rewrite it and put plenty of space in between the terms so that I can say 10 times, 10 times, 10 times, 10 times, multiplying every single term by that common denominator. All right, now let's look at the first term here. If, um, when we multiply this, if you need to, you can put the 10 over 1 so you can see numerators and denominators. Um, but we could do some canceling first to make this a little bit um, simpler to work with. 5 will go into 10 two times. So all we're left with here now is 2 times 3 times x, which is, oops, I'm going to go ahead and just multiply it there, 6x minus. Now for our next term here, a 10 multiplying and dividing by the same number, one on top, one on bottom, will cancel. So we're just left with x equals. Now in our next term, we have 10 times x, which is 10x minus, and in our last term here, 2 will go into 10 5 times, and 5 times 5 is 25. Now at least we don't have any more fractions to deal with, and we can continue solving this equation. So we're supposed to simplify on each side. So looking at the left, we have 6x minus x, which would be 5x equals 10x minus 25. And then we can go ahead, if we want to, and move this 10 over to the left so that our x's are all on one side. We're going to do the opposite, which would be to subtract 10x from both sides. So now on the left-hand side, 5x minus 10x would be negative 5x equals. On the right-hand side, we'd have 25. So now we still want x alone. So the opposite of multiplying by negative 5 would be to divide by negative 5. That way we get rid of the sign and the number at the same time. So we're left with x equals negative 25 divided by negative 5 is positive 5.